And is that a feature you just won't be without now? I think now we've had it, it'd be hard to live without it. Yeah, definitely. We've cropped parts of the farm that we haven't done before. Really? Because of yeah. the parallel? Yeah. Right. gentlemen hello and welcome along to another customer review from us this time you join us in the yorkshire walls and we are out with bnf potatoes who are running a pair of fent c-series uh, power level combines so to get their opinion on the uh, two machines and how they are getting on with them i am now joined by mr richard bannister here who is basically going to share his thoughts on the uh, on the machines so richard before we get stuck in to the combines just tell us a little bit about bnf potatoes and your involvement in the business as well well based north and east yorkshire on worlds mainly potatoes is what we do we've got just around 2,000 acres of potatoes to lift every year um, do that and everything that we lift we use ourselves in our pack house and peeling shed then we have 1800 acres of combinables half of that's our own land and half's contracting work that we're doing and then this season's harvest in 2023 it's been a bit of a tricky one so yeah. how's it gone for you guys well to be fair that's why we've got two of these combines now we don't have a dryer at all we do have a farmer next door who dries a bit of corn for us but we try and get you know everything without having to dry it so yeah so ideally you want to be running when the conditions are right yeah really yeah and you say that is your biggest sort of driver for or your biggest reason for going for two combines yeah. rather than the one big yeah, one that's it and then what models are they that you've got three three fives well six three three fives so like six walker parallel well pl's parallel so a lot of hill sides and things like that i was going to say we are definitely in some hill sides yeah. today we found that like your 3D sieves, they just aren't quite good enough on no. some hill sides. We're 90% of the time crossover, dale sides and bad slopes and things like that. We've got four wheel driving as well, so. Yeah. yeah. So that, that power level, that's, that alters it sat from side to side, so yeah. you can run along the side of these hills and dales and yeah. whatnot. So these pair of uh, Fence C Series combines then, how long have you been running these two? Uh, this is our third season with them both. They've gone well, they haven't been much bother really for us fairly simple to run yeah yeah why are these two particular models you know in terms of the size well, and things like that but the biggest walk straw walkers at fent do which was one thing you know we didn't want to drop a great deal of productivity we needed the option of the parallel as well yeah and they didn't they didn't at the time they didn't do a smaller rotary so that's why i went for the walkers this season we haven't touched one yeah we haven't had a break down for more than two hours. Was well, that anything major or? No, it was, had blue problems. <laughs> All right, that, that, old, that old chestnut. <laughs> first day out. Yeah. So, you know, you you expect it. Yeah. Little niggles when you bring it out at shed, so. But no, that got resolved quick enough and we were back on yeah. going again, so. Yeah, it was good. And that'll be down to Scrutons, is it? Wilfie yeah. Scruton? Scrutons, yeah. Yeah. They're normally out within the hour for us. It's, it's good backup, yeah. And sort of work, work rates with these combines, what's... Uh... Normally trying to average 20, 25 tonne an hour each. You're everywhere, we've had some up to 35 tonne an hour. And um, down below like 10 and 12 when you've got into some hard mm. threshing weight. And in terms of, you know, having, particularly with the straw, with it being so green, and you're chopping it today, yeah. um, does it uh, cop all right with that? Yeah, normally it's, You've normally got plenty of power. It's if you're chopping going uphill, 
and tip when you struggle, but I think most combines do. Exactly, they've all got the limits, yeah, doesn't exactly. matter how big they are. No, very, very rare we're running above 90 odd percent engine load. Right. Very rare. And like you mentioned, just the uh, the geography around here as well, it's just so, so varied oh, as well. Oh yeah, you've got, you've got big open dales, steep dales as well. And that'll be where that para level really comes into its oh, own. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you don't, you don't feel like you want to tip over either when no. you've got a full tank and it's you sat square on it's, it's good and is that a feature you just won't be without now i think now we've had it it'd be hard to live without it yeah definitely we've cropped parts of the farm that we haven't done before really because of yeah. the parallel yeah right and as well as keeping level on slopes are there any other sort of little advantages to having parallel when we're moving fields you know getting through tight gateways and things you can lift combine right up, lift your header right up and you're clean over top of edges. Right. So you can move, you know, you can move around a lot of the farm with the header on. Yeah. Which is a bonus. And grain sample off these combines, what's that what's that like for you? It's been really good. Like I say in some hard threshing weight and things like that you could maybe do with your rotors just for that extra length of separation. But well crucial in particular is hard. You've got top heads in all your sample, don't matter what combine you're in, it seems to do it in all of them quite happy with them really for you know to say that they're just six walkers are quite small combines and mm. they seem to do a good job and then likewise with losses do you get much losses off the back of this combine particularly given this yeah these you, rolling hills around here you always struggle with walk losses when you you know upstate banks and things like that if you're going plumb up them but you know when you get it leveled out it, it's all right you get bits you always will do just riding over with straw but it's um, no, it's surprised. It's surprised me. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Like I say today, you are chopping, uh, chopping the straw. Um, what's the the chop like on that, and the, and the spread pattern as well? Chop's pretty decent. Yeah, you know, you're five, six inch lumps behind it, but it's spread patterning in quite wide enough really. You could do with being, you know, a foot and a half, two foot wider either side just to cover it. And the the header that you've got on this, what width is this one? Um, 24 foot. Right, and they're presumably they're both yeah, 24 foot. Yeah, both identical yeah. combines, yeah. Yeah, that's it. And this will be, I think this is what Fent will be calling its free flow header, yeah. I think. Yeah, you move the organ forwards and backwards if you want. Um, we don't, we only do that when we get into beans, really. And how do you find the crop flow on this on this header? It's, it's all right until you get into some thick weight that, you know, you're trouncing on and it just blocks up at the front, you've got like it's almost like bushels of corn right. just going from one side to the other it just can't it can't take that capacity that's the one thing that limits us most of the time is the header other than that it's you know you can if you wanted to do you can shave the ground with it it's really good yeah yeah you can get nice and low and most of the time it's all right like i said it's just when you get into certain crops you just can't get your stick forward mm. it just sort of dances around the, yeah. on the front yeah. and how's it like handle laid crops because there's a few of those about this year yeah no it's done well uh, 